Alright guys, welcome in today's video. In today's video, I'm about to show you how you can boost your FPS in Valorant in 2023. I made a couple videos about FPS boost about Fortnite, so I think it's a great idea to make also videos about Valorant. What about you? Let me know in the comment section down below. But before we start, if you find some tips and tricks that will help you in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video, because these two things helps me a lot when it comes to growing this YouTube channel. My goal on this YouTube channel is to hit 1000 subscribers. Thanks a lot, but now without further ado, let's get straight to the topic of this video, shall we? Okay, so as a first step, we're gonna need two softwares called Advanced System Care and Malwarebytes. These two softwares will clean our PCs from any necessary things, such as temp files and so on. And this type of files is in deep of your PC, and normally you don't even know that you have this type of files in your PC. And exactly this type of files are slowing down your PC and takes your FPS not even in Fortnite, in Valorant, but also in other games. So let's delete them. I'll leave you a link to download these softwares in the description of this video. Both of these softwares are for free and it's free to use, so don't worry, you don't have to pay for anything. Just download the softwares, install it, scan your PC and delete all unnecessary files and then feel free to uninstall these softwares. Next step is for NVIDIA users, so if you AMD graphics card user, just skip this step. In this step, we're gonna update our NVIDIA graphics card drivers, which is really important when it comes to FPS and overall smoothness, not even Valorant, but also other games. So if you didn't done yet, download and install NVIDIA Experiences software. Again, I'll leave you a link to download this software in the description of this video. Then open it, create account, and in the type drivers, install the newest possible driver. And then click install. Meanwhile, your PC will updating your GPU drivers, your monitors could start turning on and turning off. Don't worry, don't get panicked, it's okay. It means that your graphic card drivers are updating correctly and installing the newest one. As a next step, we're gonna turn off all unnecessary Windows theme skins and visual effects, which is slowing down your PC a lot. And by turning them off, you can experience a little bit FPS boost in Valorant. For do so, we will open our Windows settings and uncheck all these settings, except these two. Feel free to pause the video and copy these settings, and after that, click apply and okay. Okay, so as the next step, we're gonna focus all or majority of our power of our graphics cards only for Valorant. So for doing so, in the search bar in Windows, type GPU settings and there turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Down below, click Browse App and find two files. One is Valorant win64shipping.exe and the other is just Valorant.exe. You can find these files in your Valorant folder, for me it's D drive, Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Games, Binaries, Vin64, and there is my file Valorant Vin64 Shipping.exe. And for Valorant.exe, for me it's on D, Riot Games, Valorant, Live, and there is file Valorant.exe. After you find and choose these two files, each of them have option settings. So first click on Valorant Vin64 Shipping.exe options, and here click High Performance. Click Save, and same applies to Valorant.exe. Options, High Performance, and Save. In the next step, we're gonna set our PC to run as much power as possible, because when you buy your PC or build up your PC, in default it's set to average or balance, and that means that your PC is running not on full potential and trying to save some power. This step can cost you more power consumption, so just to know. And that's because your PC will run on your full potential, so it can logically cost you more power consumption. For laptop users, after this step, your laptop could be a little bit louder because of your CPU and GPU fans, but it will reflect on your performance in-game and more FPS. So let's do so. To the search bar in Windows, type power and sleep settings, click additional power settings, and here you should see balance, recommended, high performance, and power saver. So we're gonna set it to high performance. And that's it. Next step is again for only NVIDIA users, because we will set our NVIDIA control panel settings, 
to highest performance possible. So for do so, again open Nvidia control panel by right clicking on your desktop, go to the tab manage 3D settings and here just copy all of my settings you right see on the screen. Feel free to pause the video for that. In the next step, we're gonna turn off all unnecessary background apps which are running right now in the background of your PC. In the search bar in Windows, type background apps, and there you should see let apps running in the background turn on. If you have so, turn this off. Trust me, this gives you the best performance possible, especially if you have low CPU. Next up to the search bar in Windows, type startup apps, and again, turn off all unnecessary files and software. I recommend letting turn on, for example, antivirus and Vanguard to try a notification. Again, this may help you with your FPS boost a lot, and it costs you about one minute of your life, so. It's definitely worth a try. Next up, to the search bar in Windows, type Game Mode Settings, and there, turn Game Mode on. And as a last tip, meanwhile you're running your Valorant in background, open Task Manager, click Details, and find Valorant. Right click on it, hit Set Priority, and there, set it to High. This setting is not savable, so you have to do that every time you start up Valorant. But again, this will focus majority of your power of your PC straight to the Valorant. So in the end, it reflects in the performance in Valorant and overall smoothness of the game. If you found this video helpful for you, please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video, because my goal on this channel is to hit 1000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching, if you have any following question about this video, feel free to ask in the comment section down below, and me or my community will answer you. Have a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.